go don't start try to me Kevin Hart got a whole stay open seven days a week like Walmart you are alongside names like Ashley Mazzaro yeah who, um, tragically passed away what was your reaction when you heard that news um so Ashley had passed away I want to say it was 2019 yep mm -hmm. it was in 2019 yeah and she passed away in May or late April and that her passing really hit me hard because I saw her in January yeah. at a signing in Las Vegas and in fact we shared a room together and I hadn't seen her in such a long time and I remember just catching up with her and I was asking about Alexa and she just kind of laughed and she said you know this girl does not want to drive She's gonna be 18 years old, she doesn't wanna drive. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know, what's up with these kids these days? So she was just, you know, we're just catching up about old times and just about, I remember we talked about how I used to always bring my laptop on the road, specifically during the Diva search and we would watch Dave Chappelle on my laptop. So <laughs> it was just, it was like old times. And that's like the beautiful thing about, you know, your wrestling friendships, especially with the girls. You don't see them for six months. You don't see them for two, three, four years. But as soon as you see them, it's like no time has gone by. So that was very hard for me because I felt like I just saw her, you know? Can you speak to the importance of mental health? It's such a prevalent issue, not just with wrestling, but today. I think that mental health is probably one of, if not the most important issue that we face in our country now. I mean, everything can be tied back to it. I think there's just this stigma especially in American culture, about saying, hey, I'm weak right now. I need help right now. I can't do this on my own, or I feel sad, or I feel lonely. Like it's, it's not something that is widely accepted in American culture because we come from a, such a strong work ethic. You know, it's like, nope, there's no excuses. Get up, go to work, you know, show up. And even deeper, I think that mental health within the male community, specifically the black male community, is even more of, of a very big challenge that we face. Um, the issues with wrestling and mental health that I see, and I think this applies to the broad spectrum of entertainment in general, is that nobody prepares you for life after wrestling. Oh. You know, you're showing up in front of tens of thousands of people a night and you're connecting and you are presenting yourself as this larger than life character and yeah. you get this dopamine dump and you connect with people and you feel so important. You know, your work is important. And then you go home and if you don't have a family, you know, you have those two, three days off a week, yeah. you come down from that, your body hurts, wow. you know? You have to do those day-to-day -day things that are already hard on its own. Yeah. Um, maybe you don't want to go certain places because it's overwhelming when people are approaching you and you just want to get your, la your laundry done or your groceries. Um, and then fast forward when you're out of the business. You don't have that same connection sometimes if you focus on your career and you don't have a family yeah. or you don't have that same um, excitement. You don't have that adrenaline. And a lot of people can get addicted to that. So there's so many different things that um, can be touched on about mental health, um, not just in wrestling, but everyone. You know, this COVID lockdown really did a number on a lot of people too. So yeah. it's, uh, it's, a very, it's a prevalent thing for sure.